Paddy Pimblett defeats Jared Gordon by a controversial unanimous decision, 29-28s on all the scorecards, and most people disagree with this. Most people believe that Jared Gordon won the fight. I ran a poll on Twitter, and with over 5,000 votes in the last like 45 minutes, over 80% of the people believe that Jared Gordon won the fight. And honestly, if you look at the scorecards, they're all over the place. Even though it looked like watching the fight live, it was pretty obvious on who won each round. So two of the judges gave the first two rounds to Paddy Pimblett, the third to Jared Gordon, while Chris Lee gave the last two rounds to Patty Pimblett and the first round to Jared Gordon. And honestly, it seemed like a super close fight, but this seems to be the kind of skill level that Patty Pimblett is at. And let's get right into it, man. Who really won this fight? And in order to dictate who won the fight, we have to go by the judging criteria, which pretty much says that damage trumps everything. Control, aggression, none of that even matters unless the damage is exactly even. And in order to analyze it the most accurately possible, we're going to have to categorize each strike in accordance to damage. And we're going to be looking at the first two rounds as they seem to be most disagreed on from the judges to even the fans. It seems like most people believe, even the judges themselves, believe that Jared Gordon won that third round. There wasn't a lot of damage. There wasn't a lot of strikes that really landed there. Let's get right into that first round, man. First strike of the round, Petty lands a very good push kick as Jared Gordon is throwing a leg kick. The push kick gets Gordon stumbling, but at the same time, he is able to land his leg kick. And then Jared Gordon lands a big left hook on Patty. Definitely the biggest shot of the round so far, but... Gordon just naturally doesn't have that much power, and Patty was able to take it pretty well. Gordon then lands a very good leg kick afterward, returned by a good one from Patty as well. They both wind up left hooks on each other and land at the same time, pretty much landing with the same kind of power. A decent check left hook from Patty as he's moving away from Gordon's aggression. Gordon's punch actually misses here. It doesn't land on the target. It lands toward the chest area. A slight jab from Patty lands right at the end of it, and then Gordon responds with a huge leg kick much bigger than the ones before, and it gets a big reaction out of Patty. And then Patty returns with one of his own that gets a good reaction out of Gordon. Patty gets on the attack even more and lands a right straight at the very end of his punch while Gordon is moving away. Doesn't really get much of a reaction out of it because Gordon is moving away from the punch. Then Gordon lands two good leg kicks on Patty. Patty returns one of his own, and then here comes that big left hook again from Gordon lands it flush on Patty, which gets him backing up. Then they both land on each other. As Gordon's putting on the pressure, Patty lands another slight left hook on the back foot, but he gets hit by an even bigger jab from Gordon. They both land leg kicks on each other, and then we get to a wild exchange here. Gordon gets aggressive, blitzes down the center with his hooks, and Patty intercepts him with a body uppercut. Left hook as Gordon is rising up, but Gordon is moving with the punch, decreasing all the impact of the blow, and lands a huge right overhand, by far the biggest punch of the whole round. Leg kick from Patty almost got checked, and then Patty lands a very good combination, throws a whipping right hook around the guard, lands pretty good, gets a reaction out of Gordon. He furthers on the combo with a jab. Off of the jab, Gordon gets into a defensive shell, and Patty lands an uppercut and ends it with a left hook that gets a good reaction out of Gordon. Two leg kicks from Patty, and the second one was much bigger. And then we get to another exchange where Patty throws in a left hook, and Gordon's moving with the punch, but gets slapped a little bit behind the head with it. And Gordon's throwing hooks while his head is down to the ground, and he lands only with his forearms, left hook, and the right hook behind the head. A decent check left hook from Patty as he's moving on the back foot, but he lands it pretty awkwardly with his hand. Doesn't really land fully with the knuckles there. And because of the form of the punch, it doesn't affect Gordon that much. Both land leg kicks on each other again. Gordon follows up with more kicks and lands one to the body. Patty does catch it afterward. Doesn't really have much of an effect on him. But the attack afterward from Gordon was definitely a big one. Wings in that left hook yet again as Patty's chin is up in the air and catches him clean. Gordon then checks a body kick from Patty and Patty continues this assault, lands a shifting right straight at the end of the punch, and Gordon attacks with that left hook yet again. Patty lands his check left hook, Gordon lands his left hook, both with a similar kind of impact, and Gordon attacks with it yet again, lands with the left hook, and Patty misses his. They both exchange leg kicks on each other, Patty's was definitely bigger. Gordon blitzes down yet again with that two-punch combination, goes to the body with the right hand, it lands okay, doesn't really have much of an effect, and follows up with a jab up top instead of that left hook. This one's a little bit bigger, but still not that much power in the punch. And they get into another exchange very similarly, where they both land left hooks, and it's strange because as they hit each other, Gordon stumbles. 
Is it possible that Patty's left hook caused like a flash knockdown almost? Hurt him like that? Or did he trip? When you watch it in real time, it definitely looks like Gordon tripped. And even the judges did not score this as a knockdown. So that's essentially what we're going to have to go by. But both definitely land big on each other. Just for argument's sake, we'll say that Patty's was harder. They continue the exchange. Patty grazes with an uppercut. They both land left hooks on each other yet again. Gordon seems to land a little bit harder, but he lands with his forearm instead of his fist. Then they both land right hooks on each other, and the exchange ends with Gordon slipping away from Patty's left and connecting with his own. Patty lands a two punch combination. A left hook sneaks in in front of the guard, and then a right hook lands behind the head as Gordon turns his head away. So I wouldn't say this is like a foul move from Patty, as Gordon kind of brought it upon himself. Then Patty lands a jab. And Adds on a leg kick, Gordon lands a right body hook, and in that exchange, Patty tries to take the fight to the ground, but ultimately, Gordon's wizard reverses the position, and Gordon gets on top, starting to land ground and pound. Gordon lands eight strikes on top, and Patty lands one elbow. That ends the first round. So by telling up all the strikes and the damage, they landed exactly the same in total strikes and light strikes, but there's a big difference with heavy and medium. The majority of the big shots of the round were definitely on Jared Gordon's side. He also had the biggest single strike of the whole round, whereas Petty had some damaging shots, but not necessarily crazy damaging, you know? So ultimately, you would have to give this round as a 10-9 to Jared Gordon. He also did get the takedown and top position as well to go alongside with his superior strike. Striking. So, so far, it's 2018 for Jared Gordon. Now let's look at the second round. So we start the second round and Gordon checks Patty's kick while afterward landing a leg kick of his own and adds on more kicks on top of that with a front kick to the body and Patty wants to get one back. He retaliates with a front kick to the body of his own, furthering on the volume, throwing up a snap head kick. Not much power in the kick itself, he really just brings his leg up there touches Gordon and doesn't have much of an effect, but Gordon lands a bigger strike after his body punch, so he throws a right hand to the body and lands with a jab up top that gets a bigger reaction out of anything that landed in the round so far. As Patty's trying to exit out to his own right, Gordon intercepts him with a left hook, a front kick to the body from Patty, and then Gordon later retaliates with a light kick of his own. Patty using his reach advantage, sticks Gordon from long range with a jab, while also evading Gordon's follow-up attack. And then afterward, Gordon lands a left hook to the body, arm fully extended and really no power in the punch. Leg kick from Jared Gordon and as he's being aggressive, putting the pressure on Patty yet again, he misses his blitz and Patty connects on him with a check left hook. This punch lands pretty good. Trying to keep Patty on the cage and keep the pressure on top of him, Gordon attacks yet again, throws a right hook to the body and grazes a jab up top. Then Patty lands multiple really good strikes on Gordon, starting it off with a push kick to the body that comes down low afterward. Gordon tries to catch it and takes two left hooks up top, both of them not really much impact. Patty then grazes a left straight as Gordon is shelling up and keeping an opening down the center. While still shelling up, Patty lands a right hook behind the head, rips a right hand to the body, then Gordon gets on the attack, landing a right hand to the body for himself and then connecting up top with his forearm as he's throwing a left hook. Because of this pressure, they get into the clinch, and Gordon lands a very good knee to the body, and eventually the fight goes to the ground because Patty is attempting a choke, a very unorthodox choke that we really have never seen work in the cage, and it's really hard to tell if Gordon was really in any trouble, but Patty was attempting a choke. Gordon got out of it pretty easily, but we do have to still count that as a takedown for Jared Gordon. As they stand up into the clinch, they land 10 strikes on each other each until Gordon disengages and lands a massive right hand on Patty, forcing Patty to look for an exit. Gordon lands a leg kick from the outside and Patty returns with a left hook that gets inside the guard and then a whipping right hand that also finds target. This was Patty's biggest punch. Gordon then lands another right hook to the body and left hook up top, that very same combination that he's been throwing the whole fight. Both punches land. Another right hand to the body from Gordon, not much power into the punch. They both exchange leg kicks on each other, but off of Patty's leg kick, Gordon lands a big right overhand, definitely another heavy attack. Gordon keeps going and lands a right straight down the center, straight punch being looping punch, as Patty's throwing a left hook, but because of the height difference, he is able to get over the shoulder, glancing the blow. 
Gordon definitely landed the bigger punch here, following it up with a left hook to the body. And up against the fence in the clinch, Petty lands a total of 12 while Gordon lands 5. After the disengagement and Petty reverses the pressure, he gets pretty reckless and Gordon bombs him with a left hook. Petty takes the punch pretty well and returns a right hook of his own, lands it, but Gordon also moves his head with the punch, decreasing the impact of the blow. Petty throws up another snap kick, partially lands with the foot, and as he gets reckless again with his chin up, Gordon bobs and weaves for a left hook yet again. Jab from Gordon, and then they get into another exchange where Gordon lands a leg kick, and Petty glances with his left as he's throwing wild hooks at him. Petty lands a switch kick to the body, but pulls on the kick greatly, so it decreases the impact, as well as Gordon parrying the kick and then the round ends with Patty landing a slight left hook. So by telling up all the strikes and the damage, Patty Pimblet landed two more total strikes, five more light, and Jared Gordon landed one more medium and two more in the heavy category. He also had the biggest strike of the round. And as you know, according to the judging criteria, damage trumps all. With him having the more damaging shots of the round, you would ultimately have to give the second round to Jared Gordon another 10-9. So ultimately, did the judges get this correct? They did not. You guys were actually right about this. Over 80% of you guys. And honestly, it was exactly like we thought live. Jared Gordon absolutely should have won this fight. He should have actually gotten a 30-27 scorecard. Even though the rounds were not one-sided, it wasn't like Jared Gordon absolutely destroyed Patty. It was clear that he won the fight. And we know where Patty Pimblett's skill level is at. Definitely outside the top 15 right now. I mean, imagine if he got hit by the same kind of punches from Jared Gordon, but that was Drew Dober on the other side. Or Terrence McKinney or Guam Kutaladze. This would have been a completely different story. And honestly, Jared Gordon looked better than ever before. He actually put on a very good performance in his own right. Because we always knew where Jared Gordon stood in the lightweight division. And he actually put on a better performance than usual. So all credit to both guys. They came out there to compete. Petty came out there and fought. He's not a judge. And I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. And if you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.